Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we are over at the Land Rover here in Lehigh, Utah to look at the new Defender. Now the Defender that we're going to be looking at with Elise is the 110 version, aka the four-door, and it's not the crazy long version they have, which is the 130 now, which uh, looks pretty interesting. Um, but anyways, this is a whole series we're looking at uh, potential future mommy mall crawlers is what we've been uh, dubbing it as. And so uh, with that being said, I'm going to include a link to the Land Rover and Lehigh's website in the description down below. I really appreciate them give me some time with this Defender and let's just get right into it. Okay, so we're just gonna go over some basics with the Defender. This isn't like a full review. This is just kind of like looking at the vehicle. So first off, what do you think about the looks? I person? love the color of it. You actually like this? I love the color. So this is the Tasman blue that I had on the configurator last night. That in okay, <laughs> So funny, in my video, I said, hey, I just put this color on for fun. I don't think we would actually get this because I don't think that Elise is gonna go with the blue vehicle. <laughs> I like it. Now think about this with the satin paint protection film. I don't care. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> okay, other than the color, what about just like the general look of the vehicle? So it kind of looks like and I could be totally wrong, but from my memory, it kind of looks like a spaceship, like from the back, like, you know, the shuttle part. And then it reminds me of the vehicle from Pizza Planet, the, the delivery driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's way cooler than that, obviously, but like the way that the back looks just from here. I think it's way cooler than that nerd over there. Oh, the two-door. The two-door, which yeah. looks like, a, you know, like it's nerdy. Um, and it'd be hard to get a baby in and out if I'm gonna say something practical about it because then it's like Yeah, we'll kind of we'll have you test it and see everything now the things that I love about the new defenders It has air suspension which gives it like 11.5 inches of ground clearance I think and I like how the front end is shaped with this because it's shaped so that you have a better approach angle and You know, it's 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 pretty sturdy. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy underneath, but you know, it's it's got a cool Oh, yeah, we got to go over the vents here. So it's weird, but I like it um, and then also, another thing is, this isn't the, so this isn't the spec that I'd get. Um, I would get the spec that has like the containers on the side and then the snorkel and everything so that it looks cooler as well. This doesn't you of the Pizza Planet. <laughs> pizza Planet. <laughs> I don't know, it's just how I'm remembering it, I guess. Okay, so, one downside about the Defender. It could hold Zorro? No, 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 it, it opens up like this. So it's to the side. Well, so does the, the Wrangler that we have. Yeah, but so the difference between this and the Wrangler is, and sorry if my voice is kind of muffled a little bit, it's because of the microphone. Um, this has the window attached, whereas the Wrangler, you flip up the window. It's not attached to the... Oh! Uh, anyway, storage space. Let's, let's see what you think about. So here's the storage space in the Defender. Again, sorry that my voice is muffled. I'm trying to yell so you guys can hear me. And it, does this one have a third row? Yeah, it looks like this one has the third row seating. This oh, is for the air, so this has a built-in air compressor. Oh, nice! I was gonna say this is like a replacement net, you know, like it's it's, but it's solid instead of a net net. Mm -hmm. And so this button right here, that yeah. that is for the air suspension to raise and lower the rear end, so it makes it easier to load things up oh, into the bag. Oh, that's cool. That yeah. is a really neat feature. But do you feel like this is enough storage space? I don't feel like I could go to Costco and get toilet paper and paper towels and groceries and fit them all in the back. They'd have to like. What about like folding them? Because you can fold down the, the seats. Folding down the seats. Can we fold like two of them and keep one of them up? Or uh, are you, they so, all connected? So look, they're. Yeah, you can see they're not all connected. Okay, because if we can leave one up, then we can have Junior and still like put seats down. But that's not going to work when the family is bigger and needs more groceries, which won't grow with the size of the trunk because it's still small. No, it's okay. not like small, small. Like I could fit in here and his big old dog could fit in here. But, but also look how tall it is. It is tall. It is tall. Okay, well, we're gonna go from here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's kind of heavy to open, I will say. It's a random patch of blue, hello. <laughs> now, um, inside, what, what do you think about- do? Never mind. Okay, what do you think about like the kind of look of the interior? Going back to Roly Poly Oli again, where it's just very like facety. I don't know. I. Oh, that's funny. Okay, step in. See how it's easy it is to get in and out. Would you hold this? Yeah. I'm a cop. I'm a cop. So that wasn't hard. These seats are pretty comfortable, especially compared to the first vehicle that we saw. That was a Ford. Um, and look, it has skylights. It does. Oh. So it has a sunroof and skylights in the back, so it lets in a lot of light. 
That's nice. Um, and then also look here. So it has climate controls for the rear passengers. Vents there. But no vents up here. Yeah, no vents up top. But it does have, at least it has those vents down there. Yeah. I also found out in the Jeep, the Jeep has vents here on the side. What? It's like, you couldn't, I couldn't stick my snacks in here. They'd fall out. <laughs> <laughs> They'd get all crumbly. I've been a passenger in many, many car trips. And like, you know, if you have your stupid nature valley bar the crumbly one that's so delicious but can't keep itself together you can't just like store it in there and hope mom doesn't see it because there's no i guess it's easier for me to clean okay Bonus. so this is a nice bit of safety tech since you're a future mom this has blind spot monitoring so if someone is driving up before you open the door it'll illuminate neat let's hope i pay attention <laughs> okay so we'll go to the front now okay Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so. It's the same color as my dress. Yeah, it actually is. What about the comfort here in the front seat? It's a little too tall, but I, that's adjustable. Getting in and out? Just the seat where it is. It's oh, the seat. Slightly yeah, you can adjust too tall. It. Oh, you can just do this. Is there any way that we can, like, bucket me? Is there any. Because you know how some seats are like, it tips you forward, but you want to tip backward and be lower. Like that? That still raises me up though. We'll figure it out. All but right. it's clean. I like that it has, I like that the interior is not black and that it has different colors and stuff going on. I it's think really this appealing. Is, I don't think this is, the, I can't tell. They have like a, no, I think this is the leather interior, but the interior we'd get is the, um, they have an interior that's made to get dirty. Is it all black? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> okay, so we are inside of the Defender and I have to show her some cool gadgets. So this has the camera mirror mm -hmm. system, it's a bonus. which is a huge plus. And uh, we're actually gonna turn this down. So here's how the climate controls work. This is gonna be crazy to you. So this is how you do the fan speed, okay? Now if you want the seats, it's, so it's like so all they, in one place. Yeah, they do. They go for a minimalist design with the new Land Rovers, and so they like double down the controls. And then this is the drive mode select now, so you can change the different. Oh, that's super weird. Drive modes, basically. Yeah, so it's all in the same thing. Now, if the air suspension, you can raise and lower it with these buttons right here. Now, something that's cool is if you pop it into reverse, you have to put your foot on the brake. Buzz Lightyear, Star Command. Come in, Star Command. I don't even know how to. So reverse. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So Ooh, here's. What's a weird thing? So you've got the backup camera. Now go back a little bit. So it should start filling in. It might not though if this one doesn't have the package. So some Defender, it's in packaging get basically where it shows the camera view underneath the vehicle on top of showing. Let's go forward a little bit and see if it'll. Ah, I guess it's not doing it. But yeah, you can get, anyways, it's a package you can get on the Defender where it'll show the camera view underneath the vehicle as well as mm -hmm. like that. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, what do you think about the gauge cluster though? Digital. It's easy to read. You can opt for um, basically analog on either side and then a screen in the middle if you don't want the digital. And it's a no cost option. That nobody, be... nobody ever does that, but you can. Oh, but you can <laughs> that's, do that's it. more appealing to me. <laughs> Because yeah. like I want it to be able to display what it needs to while I'm driving, but I want to have my gauges where I can, you know. Well, but it shows the. It does RPMs, show that RPMs and speed there. No, it does. Um, other than that, uh, I guess we'll just set off here. This is cool for off-road. It's got low range. Gotta have, gotta have low range. This yeah, we'll is the off. weirdest thing. The shifter. Yeah. Well, at least it's a shifter, not a dial, right? True. This is on par with a dial, though, with the way that it's like. So you have to do you have to press a button and then. No, that doesn't. But it's just like, why is it right? Why? Well, on other Range Rover models, it's down here, and it looks like a little shaver. It's like a little thing that you. Yeah. That's the best way for me to describe it. Is it looks like a little. It looks like a little shaver. Okay. But yeah, well, let's go. Let's see how it drives. I'll tell you the uh... driving route. Okay. No pressure. This is the most expensive vehicle so far that we've looked at. Gosh, it's floaty though. Floaty? The driving? Okay. Alright, where am I going, sir? Uh, turn left. Yeah. This is scary. I don't drive expensive vehicles that aren't. The T Rex is more expensive than this. And so is the Raptor. And so is the Jeep. I love the Jeep. 
I've come around to the Jeep. Isn't I think it's crazy that all the vehicles I own are not from luxury manufacturers yet they're all more expensive. But it's than... all your upgrades, huh? Guess no. We oh brakes. Okay, so you turn right here. And this I has the six cylinder. This has the six cylinder, which is probably the engine we'd get because the V8. We'd have to pay forty thousand dollars more to get the V8, and it has like maybe a hundred horsepower more. It's a V8, which is cool, but it also would be harder for me to turn into an off-road vehicle because it has really big brakes. That's what this family car is about. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, look, it has this, by the way. So, if, like, you, you can grab there. It's the oh crap bar. Yes. Oh no, I lost your face. Oh no. It's because of the lighting. Well, oh, sorry, YouTube. Oh, hell. I guess we'll go to the hands and the gauge cluster. At least I got my nails done. Yeah. yeah. How do you like how this drives so far? So far, the driving is good. The stopping is mid. Well, okay. So this is a pre-owned vehicle with 20, almost 30,000 miles on it. Uh-huh. So, Where do I go now? Oh, uh, you just keep going straight through the light. Okay. Let me see if I close the sunroof, if that will bring you, bring you back. I it's think that might have just. Sunroof. Yep, it just made it. Yes, we can finally see you now. Oh, okay. It was the center that was causing the issues. Nope, and we lost you again. Oh. So uh, other driving things. What do you think? Does it feel? Does it feel zippy? I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna go over to me so that we can. You see don't it. need to see my facial expressions. <laughs> I figure out what to do. It's not a. <laughs> but does it feel zippy at least? I or? haven't tried. I haven't like punched it. I'm just kind of going very carefully because I'm like this is. This gives me the feel of a nicer vehicle. I guess is what i'm like oh i don't want to hurt it turn the blinker on okay so we are back and we're gonna get our acceleration here sorry about the uh lighting in this video i'm trying to figure it out Whee! don't close your eyes at least you're driving <laughs> <laughs> okay let's try center up again let's see if that helps out okay now i can see what this this is so silly it's like it's silly yes it's silly it's silly oh. silly well i'm just trying to make it so the video is not like half of just like darkness darkness how was the acceleration? Good! Does it feel zippy? I think so. Oh, you're gonna to want to get over the left lane? Left Other, lane. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to race people. No. But do you like, so you like the suspension feel though, like the comfort? Mm-hmm. Does this feel more or less comfortable than the Jeep? Which Jeep? What do you, no, no uh, the Grand Cherokee. Okay. I will have to sit in the driver's seat to figure out if it's like comfy. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna drive anywhere. I guess uh, you guys sit. will have to go watch the video that we're making with the Grand Cherokee to uh, see. Oh, are we doing one of that too? We've been doing that the whole day. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, trust me. Like the reason why nobody else does what I do is because like keeping up with all of it is super difficult. He does so much every day, you guys. It's scary. How many videos have you done today? Like nine. Ah! It's a lot. But in terms of like the powertrain with this compared to like the Jeep and then the Ford and then the Toyota, do you like this one the most or least? And also from a fuel economy standpoint, this is not the most economical, it's not the least. It's kind of like in the middle. Okay. So in the Grand Cherokee, I do like that when you take your foot off the gas it like slows down because that's really nice coming up like stoplights and stuff it does it for you instead of my sister's a terrible driver like terrifying that would be really nice to have with her for her and then you'll turn left here yeah um so that it's not like you know much like i'm doing in this vehicle like these brakes are touchy They're you get used touchy. to them though you do. I just like the last one that we were in felt like a car, and I was like, "Yeah, I can use the brakes because it's heavy, but this feels very light." And then the brakes are heavy, and it's like, "Bam!" So this you know? this is like in between though. So this has uh, this is unibody, so okay. just like the Jeep, independent front rear suspension, okay. and so this is basically. But then it's kind of like it's like a brawny off roader type vehicle, and so brawny off. -roader. That's the best way to describe it. So this is in between the Jeep and the Forerunner in a sense. Mm. Also, this might be a selling point for you. You can get this. This is a refrigerator. Oh! <laughs> and that's so, cool. like, you got the little frosty button, you press that, and then it refrigerates it. That's that's really cool. Because I snack constantly. Not even just because of the baby, I just snack constantly. Do you feel comfortable backing this up because there's, like, tons of space between? Oh, <laughs> um, no. 
I mean, I could. Or I could have you do it, which is the easier option. Okay, I'll do that and then we'll... Actually, so we'll quickly sum things up right now. So, uh, after driving this... Oop, park it. Come on, dummy. It, it did it. You turned it off instead of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, overall thoughts on the Defender out of the... So, we've looked at a Toyota 4Runner today. We've looked at a Ford Explorer. I just spaced on the package for some reason. We'll, go, we'll come back the to that Timberland? later. Timberline, yeah. Thank you for remembering. Now mm -hmm. my brain's going. Um, and then we are driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4xE. We would get the Trailhawk though because the Trailhawk's cooler. Just saying. Um, so out of these four vehicles, which one do you like so far the most? In terms of aesthetic, this is like right exactly where I love it, want it, keep it, have it, cherish it. Like. I have a, I know, I, well, it's not black and it's like multi-tone and I just, I love that. It's like our house, you know, mm -hmm. it's multi-tone, but it's very neat and neutral at the same time. I feel like in this drive, I can't find a comfortable seat, like space. I'm too, too high or I'm too forward or it's just, it's like hard for me for whatever reason. Um, the drive is cool. The brakes on this one are too harsh. Um, I don't know, it's hard. Like, this is a super cool amenity, the yeah, little yeah, yeah, freaky freezer thingy. Um, it doesn't have the sit your phone down, let it charge for you. It's right here. Oh, I'm just kidding, it does. That's nice. I like those. You know, I usually am on a cord, but if they actually work, then fabulous. Yeah. Um, I like the mirror. I So far, it's the seat position and the trunk space that are the only like. Oh, the brakes. Boo. Boo. Sad. Okay, so thank you again to the Land Rover here in Lehigh. I'm going to actually yeah. fiddle with the uh, seat a little bit with her still in it. So oh, that, still in it. Okay. Yeah, so that we can see if I... I think that I could get it into a seating position that she would like. And so, yeah, that's going to sum things up for this video. Again, link to their Unless inventory. Unless we get it right and I do another little spin just around the parking lot with a good seat. Yes, yes. Okay. Link to their website in the description down below. I'll see you guys. We've changed the seat a little bit. Okay, <laughs> quick after clip. <laughs> around the parking lot this is way more comfy so I have a wonky shoulder my left shoulder it's a genetic thing all the women on my mom's side the left shoulder is just like crappy and so where I sit it's beeping because I don't have my seatbelt on we're in the parking lot lady <laughs> the where I set my arms is super important because if I have to like put the strain on my shoulders for any reason it's I, I will crap out early just because of this one you know Oh, well, there was. I could have gone down that alley, but no, this is very comfy, very comfy. We're gonna check the brakes again now that I'm in a different position. Give me a second, because I'm not just gonna like slam them. Probably. Way better drive. Okay, so it's just you're in, Way better. I'm in a terrible position. position. Okay, so the only downside then is just the rear storage. Yeah, the rear storage space and not having air vents but this is doing a really good job of cooling off the vehicle i yeah. feel like it's like because this is open it lets yeah. it go back there instead of it just being right here you know and so i think that that's okay and like i could reach baby like pretty well like at least hand it snacks you know yeah i really like it i love the color i love it just it looks on par i think you can get this interior with the resist package it's called the resist Very. seats so the only, so I, I guess we'll, this will be the last thing. So these are the leather seats. The resist seats are kind of- Can we put of, it in park instead of turning it off? Yeah. Let's try um, So the resist seats are kind of like a, it almost feels like cloth mixed with like a synthetic leather. Okay. In terms of like, it's a very weird feeling texture, but it, yeah, it doesn't have this, um, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't feel mm, the same as luxury. this. But that, those would be the seats to get because they'd be easy to clean. Yeah. And that's, that's super important. So. Okay. Well. That's that's officially done. That's it.